There we go. Ooh. Interesting date. Let's take it Thursday, Friday. Yeah, Friday's gonna be the 13th. Very interesting indeed. I had a thought. Some years ago, uh, shortly after the second Shrek movie, second one, not the first one, I was about to say the first one, incidentally. Uh, Antonio Banderas character Puss in Boots got his own movie. Or rather, his own two movies. Possibly an HBO special. I wouldn't know. I just know about the two movies. Two or three movies. I don't know how many. But I know about two of them. Well, back then... I didn't, uh, I didn't care to have my fingers on the pulse. I just, uh, paid attention to what came out when it came out. Back then it seemed everybody was a little happier. And wasn't whining about it. From my point of view and perspective, it seems on the surface level that Puss in Boots got a spinoff, everyone enjoyed it. When I move from those memories back then to more recently, where a spinoff is made and people just seem to whine and bitch about it. I don't understand why people want to whine and bitch about stuff. In that context, it's exactly the same as it was before, whether it was planned or not. You just be patient, Balto. And don't eat my shoes. But. I'm thinking because it's scheduled and planned and it's it's known about in advance I'm thinking it generates this idea that this whole process is called hype by a lot of people to me it's just oh hey we're doing a thing it, it's gonna be uh, here's 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 the the general idea of it Here's the direction we want to be heading, and um, here's our schedule for when we plan to release it. Please don't draw any parallels to the video game industry. I'm, I'm talking about movies right now. Stay focused. And it seems that when the industry started telling people because they kept nagging and begging people got it into their heads that it was gonna be a certain way or it was gonna be the way they wanted or thought it was gonna be but it, it's not it never was before it's not now why should they continue to think it's gonna be the way they want it to be when it's just not everyone complaining about it is not the ones who are making the movies so why now when the, the industry is telling you the release schedule and everything why now decide to bitch about things and it is it is more prominent in the video game industry 
but let's not get into that. Might be overly critical and bitchy about it now, like with the uh, what was it, Captain Marvel, uh, Spider-Man: Far From Home. Yeah, why bitch about it now when you've got this idea, this hype in your own fucking mind? Well, not all of you, but a lot of you. As opposed to back then, when they didn't tell you when it was coming out, they just released it, and you seemed to enjoy it a lot more. What what psychology in your head changed? Did, did you just decide to shove your head up your ass, everyone? Not literally everyone, but a great deal of you. The loudest, most prominent group of self-justified assholes. I'm curious. I want to know. What's your thought process? What's going on in your head? What makes it to where now you want to bitch about everything just because you know when it's going to happen? As opposed to back then, when um, the industry simply said, "Here's our latest creation, enjoy," and you seem to enjoy it back then. What the fuck? What's the big fucking imbalance here? What's your malfunction? What the fuck is wrong with you? I really want to know. Because me, I haven't changed. I, I could give a fuck less when they bring something out. Yeah, I'm anxious at times to see uh, the latest of the uh, Star Wars. I'm, I'm anxious for when that's uh, Episode Nine is going to hit DVD. Yeah, I'm, I'm anxious, but at the same time, I know enough to be fucking patient and wait. Yeah, speaking of that, a lot of people got overly opinionated about that too. Yeah, fuck you, fuck off. Keep your opinion to yourself. Opinions are like shit. Everybody's full of it. What I'm saying is not an opinion. It's an objective truth. Keep your fucking opinion to yourself unless someone asked you for it, okay? Shut the fuck up. Nobody wants to hear it. But what I do want to hear is your thought process. And if you just use that as an excuse to type out some bullshit, you know, fuck you, I'm better than you bullshit, congratulations. I will consider suing you for harassment and slander. Hell, I might even do it. I don't give a fuck anymore. Anyway, I just want to know what fucking malfunction of thought process led people from when a release came out without them being notified in advance they enjoy the release of the movie to more modern well not modern but more recently people being notified in advance sometimes years in advance and they generate this idea of what they wanted or think it should be in their heads and when it comes out, they trash talk it just violently. I want to know what thought process changed in, in a lot of people's minds to where now there's more people bitching about things than before. And not for games, just for movies. Gaming is in a horrible place right now, so I'll leave that topic alone for a moment. Just what the fuck happened in people's heads? Why did so many people decide to shove their head right up their own fucking ass? What what thought process led to this? I don't want a, a link to a, a, a study or anything from Harvard or Yale or some community college or anything like that. I want, I want to know the thought process in, in your mind. You, the one who bitches now, whereas several years ago you didn't bitch. Not someone's opinion on what these people think. I want to know what these actual people are thinking in their own fucked up heads. And that's the premise for this video. What the fuck happened to society? I want to know. Till next time. 
Ooh. Wait another few seconds and uh, hit that 10 minute mark and then it'll be more promotable on YouTube's algorithm. Fuck yeah.